Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another Journaling on a Budget. Today we are going to work on these two pages. We have this flip out here that flips out this way and I've already put some tea dyed paper on here for a writing space. And then this is the front that will collage and then it folds open this way. So it's a double fold um, for this and then it's a belly band. So I have no clue what we're going to do. I pulled out a big flower but I think that that's going to be a little too big for here. And I thought maybe we could put it over here. Um, you know, a lot of times people use book pages in their journals. And that's great. They make a great base. But I have a hard time really actually using or dealing with this background. So it gives me paper as pages, but it doesn't mean that I have to leave it that way. Even though I really love the shorthand writing, I don't like all of the extras. So if you put a page in your book and you think, I don't like it, cover it up. It's there as a base. It's there as a page so that you can use little bits to cover it up if you don't have a lot of big pages or so you don't use all of your big pages. Because I have no clue what I'm going to do with this. And it's because this is just too busy and I'm not good with collage anyways, so you know it's a little bit daunting to me. Um, and so I did, I put this on here, I ripped it with my tear ruler and, and put that on there. And again, I put it in here and I just did that so that I could stick it in a book and let it sit for a while um, and, and dry. It's not completely dry, but so I'm gonna pull out these two pages. Well, I'm gonna put that up there so I know where they go when I have to put them back in the book. And so that I, I'm gonna pull them out so I can kind of look at them together. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of white paint and just kind of knock that back a little bit. Just kind of tone it down so it's not so in your face. And maybe that will help me figure out what it is that I want to do. Even though I know that I'm gonna collage this little flap, um, and very possibly may cover the whole thing up. This is still, I think, going to help me. So I don't necessarily, you know, have to do this if I'm going to cover it all up, but I need something to help me get started. And so I'm just going to kind of run this over all of the different spots just to tone it back or really wipe it out. I don't know which. I'm pretty much wiping it out and I'm going to cover it up anyways. So, but that right there just in itself is a whole lot easier for me to look at. So now you may be really good at, at collaging and that type of thing and really incorporating, you know, your book page into your project. I thought that I, I was going to be able to do that with this, with the, especially with the shorthand, but not really realizing there was so much other writing and everything in the book. There weren't really that many pages that were like just shorthand. They had explanations and instructions and page numbers and all of that just kind of, um, you know, just throws me a bit. So it'll still be back there if I leave part of the page uncovered, but it just won't be as obvious. Now, I think I've done a couple other pages where I really kind of liked what I had, but I was able to get rid of all of this, all of the regular typing. And that helped a lot. So there. We have those knocked back. I'll wipe this off a little bit. Just look at the back of my page, make sure that if something gets on there, it's not going to hurt anything. Because I do have one of our pages on the inside. See, in that one, because I was able to cover up all the extra stuff, that page I like the looks of. And even this page, that page is kind of cool. Maybe just a little bit of covering up will help me on that one. So here we go. So this is a belly band for the other side. And that side is completely tea dyed. So we can do whatever we want with this. And then this is going to be my page next to it. So what do we want to do? I pulled out my fabric because I thought maybe we might want to put some fabric on it or some lace. So let me grab this out. I even have the little bits that I ripped off the edges of the paper that 
I put inside here. So maybe we'll use those. And let's see what we have in here for fabric. I really do like that purple flower, but I don't know. Let me see. Let me pull out a piece of the purple ribbon and maybe a little bit of the tea dyed. Oops. Maybe a little bit of lace. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's see what we could do with this stuff. What about if we take this and put it on here? If we put that on there, and this one was over here, Maybe use the bottom part because it has a little bit more of the pinky purple in it like this one so that actually that would look kind of nice together I think I will rip this so that we can fray this edge and then we'll figure out how long it has to be and we'll fray the other edge too the other end And you never know if you want those strings or not. You might wind up throwing those in there at some point in time. So we have that. If I put that there, cut it right about here. And when you're pulling strings like this, if they get stuck, it means that you're pulling the next one over, usually. It means there's one between where you're pulling it and the outside. And so if you really can't get it out of there, which usually if you just pull hard, it'll come out without making a mess. But there we go. Yep, that's shaggy enough all the way around. I like the looks of that. So then, I'm not so sure what we'll do on top of that. If we were to maybe put a little bit of, now that might not be too bad. I'm going to go with this, I think. So I'm going to glue this one down. And I will tell you, I'm not sure if I told you or not, but the homemade glue that we made, was that in this? No, that was in a different series. Sorry. <laughs> I get a little confused now. I have too many going on. But we made homemade glue in the, let's see, Build Your Stash series. And although it works great, it really does work great. And once you've used it, it's great. But it, um... You can't save it. It does mold after a while. The lady did say you could keep it, I forget what it was, three weeks or something like that, in the refrigerator. I did not keep mine in the refrigerator, and it lasted about a week. So, if you watch that one and think, oh, I can make my own glue, you really can, but you need to use it fairly quickly. So there we go. So that's on there. It gives me something else to look at. What do I have going on here? Let me make sure I don't glue myself down. Now, when we folded this pocket, we did fold over this bottom piece here so that when we slide something in there, that's a fold and nothing's going to catch on it. It's not a single piece of paper. And the same thing because this one folds out this way, we've got to fold on this side too. So that's going to make a nice um, belly band. Alrighty, so there's that. I keep pushing that corner up there. There we go. And then maybe a few of these pieces. Is 
since it was the same paper that I used inside, it will match the dyed paper that I have in there. I'm not using this, but I'm just wondering what they look like kind of sticking out behind something. I don't really care for that. Okay, so what else do we have? Just a flower? <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe a little piece of muslin. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to knock you. And if you cut a piece across of any kind of fabric, um, you're gonna have a straight line when you go to shred it like this. Or, yeah, I don't know how to say that, but here where it's nice and frilly, here where it's cut, it's very straight. And um, even though the cut itself is not straight, the edges of the threads are very flat and blunt, like, you know, like that. And so what I do is I usually just kind of like wet my fingers or got the paint on them and just kind of rough that up like that. And that makes it not look so straight. And so then it's just not so obvious that it's a cut. It looks more like the ripped side. Of course, if you cut all four of your sides, they'll all look the same and it won't, uh, it won't really make any difference because they'll all have a straight edge on them. Okay. So if we were to put that on there, maybe a little piece of lace. And I think I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to get rid of the ruffle. So that my lace will or get rid of the gathering so that my lace will lay flat put that on there and then maybe a flower and maybe a word i think a word might be nice down towards the bottom maybe I want that on top of that nope this is just really really not my forte but you know what if you don't try it and practice it you won't get any better those colors do look okay together so if I were to put that on there that would be okay, it would fit. <laughs> back and forth and back and forth and I just never know. And then a word up there. I kind of like that. Whoops. And I do like that flower, so I'm not going to dig through and find anything different. Get it in the middle of where my fabric is. I'm okay if the edges of my fabric are not glued right down so that it, the edges are just a little bit 
loose is okay with me. Get some on the lace. Then I have to remember what I did with my words. Okay, that's enough glue that it's not going to come off. I'm going to take... Where's my... I need my napkin. I've got too much glue on my hands. better than that straight edge. Sorry that I am so quiet today. This is something that I really have to concentrate on because I just don't know. Actually, I think I kind of like that. I wasn't 100% positive, but what do you think? And I think with the word up there, maybe with um, backed with a little bit of the, the tan paper to set it apart from the background would be good. Well, that was good. This I do want to get glue all over the whole thing because I don't want little bits of it to rip off, especially since it's on the top, there's nothing holding it down. here but I took it away all right I'm trying to press it down without bringing it down here where it's still a little sticky there we go hmm <clears throat> I think that needs a little bit of color and so I'm gonna just put a little dot of water that's way more than a little dot and I'm gonna grab purple and brown I'm gonna soak most of that off of there brown here and put some purple over here and where's my little paintbrush we only have one paintbrush in this series there it is it's not the best either because it's one of those nylon ones but you know what it is definitely better than nothing I can even put a little bit on the lace. That kind of looks pretty. Because that lace was pretty grungy. Okay, I get a little bit of the brown. And I've already glued this down, so I'm going to have to be happy with it. I hope I am. And 
with maybe just a little bit of my paper towel and pick up a little bit of that brown. Not enough. I'm going to pat that around. To me, it's just a little bit too... Um, the marks are too straight on there. That is what it is. And I am out of color, so I'm going to stop right there and hope that I like it when it dries. That's much better blended anyways. So there's that. And words. What did I do with my words? Um, I think I put them in here little photo book that I got I'm not gonna pull out those yellow ones because I definitely wouldn't want to put those on there what does this say grow distinctive play habit growth shaped texture family tolerance Hmm. I think I like distinctive because that flower I think is very distinctive. I don't even know what kind of a flower it is because I don't think I've ever seen one before. So that's kind of neat. I believe those are gladiolas, pretty sure. Okay, I like that. And how will it look on a little piece of white? Put that on there. And put that on there. And I like it. So we're going to do that. And then, I think for the other side, we're going to wait till next time. Because you've been sitting through this whole one where I've hardly been talking to you. It's kind of been one of those days, and so there's no point in keeping going when I'm just not sure what to do with that page, and this one, I'm not 100% sure if I'm happy with it. So if I decide that I'm going to change it, I'll let you know what I'm going to do or what I've done when I come back and do that page. So we'll save that page to see if I wind up changing this one or not. But I think I like it, I just don't really know. I think, oh, I keep putting way too much glue on. I 
do really like that word though. That one I'm not having a problem with. It's mostly just my little collage bits down here that I'm not real sure about. So I'll have to figure that out. And like I said, I'll wait till it dries and see what it looks like then because that could make all the difference in the world because it will lighten up a little bit. Maybe since it's wet, I might kind of pull the paper up here a little bit. I'm not peeling it off. I just kind of want it to be loose. Give a little bit of texture. Um, so that because it was just really blending in with a little bit of fabric right there. And so maybe that's what it needs. Maybe it just needs a little bit of a lift. If I don't like it, I can always glue it back down later. So yeah, I think I'll just kind of lift the edges a little bit. And when it dries, they're going to dry pretty stiff because it's so wet. Give it maybe a little pinch. Kind of a little roughly edge. Even that looks a little better to me already. It was just so flat on there. If I can pick this little piece up even. Okay. Well, that is what we have so far. So that's going to open up like this, and then like this, and like this. So. I think that I'm happy with it. Let's throw it back in the book. And we'll see what it looks like. Let's see, it goes here. And also remember, we numbered the pages, so that's page seven and that's page eight. I lost my place. Alrighty. So that's what we have there. Definitely we'll need to do something in the background here. Maybe a stamp or something. Or maybe a stencil or something. We need something there. I think once this dries, I am going to be happy with it. And then I'll just need to decide what to do over here that will make me happy and I'm this is a belly band so I don't think I really want to put a belly band on here but I could put if I backed this on something harder I could make it a tuck spot I don't know or it could just be decorative just to make it look pretty because there's a lot of writing space here so we and there'll be a pocket where we can put a little book or some or some just a a plain writing tag or something so there will be a lot of writing space for these two pages so there we go sorry i was so quiet i hope that you enjoyed this video and struggling along with me to do a collage but some days i do better some days i do worse but it definitely is not my strong suit thanks again for stopping by i really do appreciate it and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.